Many of us grumble about council tax, but a new report claims that the whole system of local taxation is in urgent need of reform. I've been discussing the issue with Dr Michael Autumn. tax works on the basis of your house being put in one of eight property valuation bands. So the lowest property values go in band A, if you're slightly higher it's band B, right through to the very highest value properties which are in band H. And here we are in Canley in Coventry, which is an area predominantly with band A and band B, some of the lower value properties in the city. And what we found looking nationally was that it is people in lower value properties, band A, band B, maybe into band C, who are the people who are struggling most to pay council tax. So what should we do about it? Well, what we found was that there are, I think, in the region of 2 million households who are struggling to pay council tax each year. But there are different groups of people who face different sorts of difficulties. We know already with council tax that it's a regressive tax. That means that people on middle and lower incomes pay proportionately more in council tax than to people with higher incomes. Now, a lot of attention is given to the position of pensioners and particularly to pensioners who may be living still in high-value properties. Perhaps they lived in a high-value property when they had a higher income, but now they're struggling on a, a low pension income. But we found a number of different things. And the first thing, which was perhaps rather surprising, was that there's actually very few such households, very few people with low incomes in high-value properties. Where we found there to be far greater problems with people struggling to pay are people in lower-value properties particularly people on low wages, perhaps with incomes of £225, £250 per week, who, when they come off benefits and go into work, suddenly have to pay a full council tax bill. Of course, many people are entitled to council tax benefit, but often they don't claim it. That's exactly right. Of all the uh, means-tested benefits that are available, the take-up of council tax benefit is by far the worst. There are literally millions of pounds go unclaimed every year. And the government's put a lot of effort into encouraging people to claim council tax benefit, which helps reduce the amount of council tax they have to pay. And certainly amongst pensioner groups, that would aid people tremendously if they did claim what they're entitled to. But what we found was that with people of working age, on the sort of wage levels of up to £250 a week, they may well not be entitled to any council tax benefit at all. So simply encouraging them to claim benefit doesn't help because they're not entitled to it. Other issues therefore come into play in terms of whether council tax benefit could be made more generous for people in work or actually looking at the fundamental structure of council tax to make council tax fairer. The government's always talking about making work pay. It sounds as though the council tax in its current state is a disincentive to work. None of the people I interviewed actually said that they would either give up their job or they wouldn't take up a job because of council tax. But in terms of people who are earning maybe £225, £250 a week, plumbers, people setting up their, their own businesses, care workers for example, when they suddenly are faced with a bill that can be £100 a month, that's a large take from their weekly income. Here we are a couple of miles from Canley in one of the wealthier parts of Coventry and you would suggest that houses like these should pay more. With changing any system of local taxation there's inevitably going to be winners and losers. There's a real chance here to think about principles that underpin systems of taxation and what really means fairness. Because at the moment we know with council tax that it's people on low and middle incomes who spend proportionally more of their weekly income on paying council tax than people on the highest incomes. Of course, the big question is, will the government pay any attention to your report? Well, certainly very timely, because the Lions Inquiry into local government is due to report very shortly. And the interim report of the Lions Inquiry did refer to previous research we did here at Warwick. So we're certainly hopeful that the full inquiry will do the same again.